Hey, good morning. Good morning, Elder Hawks. <coughs> good morning to you. Bless you, Elsie. Hey, Rashira. Good morning, Mother Francine. Bless you, bless you. Good morning to you, Elsie. Good morning, Rashira. Again, good morning, Mother Francine. Hey, Bunny. Hallelujah, God is good. Bless you, Burl. T-F-O-T. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, Anna, for sharing. Well, wow, thank God for another Monday. Um, God knows he is just good. Christina, good to see you. Good to see you, Christina. Bless you. Hallelujah. But what are we going to do? Um, we're going to be talking and sharing again um, in reference to just, um, just in my opinion, just holistic Christian living. Move this up just a tad. You can't hear. Something I did. Can you hear me better now? Hey, Rob. How about now? Can you guys hear me? Great, 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 great. Amen. Bless you, Deborah. Tapina and... Um, Rob, what's up, my man? Rita. Good morning. Good morning, Pharrell. Good morning to you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Amen. God is good. What I'd like to do is open in prayer, and we're going to um, do a few announcements. Music is low. That's the first. Great. Hey Amen. I'm 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 with you for real. I I I uh, don't get good sleep sometimes. Bless you. Good morning to you, um, Patricia. Oh, it's on your phone. <laughs> Hallelujah. What's up, Reg? Well, happy birth month to all of our um, February birthdays. Today is the 21st. And uh, today is my um, 
I mean, tomorrow is my son-in-law's birthday. Amen. Happy birth month to all of our February birthdays. We want to honor you today and every day of this month. This is also Black History Month. Amen. I guess we got we to gotta do something in honor of Black History before the month is out. Uh, there's just so much um, uh, going on. Um, I want to have, um, have uh, an announcement for the retreat for um, Harp and Bowl. They're um, doing a, a retreat and um, they, the, the registration has started. So we'll have more information on that soon. I'm sure Inna has that information. Maybe she could share with us. Oh, my Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, bringing that out. Inna Pullum's dad, um, this morning transition, and um, our prayers are with her. And her family. Well, and I didn't. I didn't know. I apologize. We our prayers are with you this morning. Thank you for being with us. Hallelujah! Wow. Father, this morning, we um, just pause to uh, thank you for the life of um, Inna's dad and uh, for his memory and for his legacy that he leaves with his family. God, we ask for those, God, that um, are um, dealing with this loss this morning, Lord, for Inna, for her husband, for her sons and her, her, her family members, Lord, uh, that you would send comfort and strength, Lord. Bless this family, Lord God. You said that you came to comfort all that mourn in Zion, to appoint unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning and the garment of praise in exchange for the spirit of heaviness so that they, Lord God, can endure this season, this season. Um, uh, thank you, Lord God, uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And, and so, God, we just thank you again for the life and the legacy of um Joseph Rogers, in the name of Jesus. Bless and comfort, Lord God. Anna and her family got strengthened even in the days ahead. And we just thank you for it now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. If we can just pause for a moment and just Again, if you could just remember Anna Pullum and her family in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
Amen. And, and uh, we, we love you. We love you. We love you. And we support you. Amen. We support you wholeheartedly. We, we got you covered. We're going to be praying for you. Amen. Amen and amen. So, wow. Amen. Thank God this morning for you, Amen. We, 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 we um, uh, honor the Lord for um, for you all, Amen. This morning, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Thank you, Gloria. So, what I'd like to do is, I, I, I like our scripture showers. I just think that they are comforting. Um, in lieu of uh, testimonies, a lot of times what they used to do is um, that they would um, they would um, share scriptures. Amen. They would share scriptures. Amen. Prayers coming all the way from Sweden. Amen. So we thank God for all the saints of God. Amen. Amen. Melissa said, good morning, love. You please pray for my son. And pray for my daughter. She just got married on Saturday. Congratulations to you, uh, Melissa, on your uh, family expanding. Amen. We um, just appreciate it and thank God. We're going to do our scripture showers. We're going to um, thank God. I, I, I think you saw earlier, um, in it had posted some information about the retreat that's going to be taking place. And we're hoping that you would join uh, for that, and uh, amen. You could register for the retreat. There are two links one to register for retreat and one for the hotel. Amen. Innovative Worship 2022 Retreat Register. Uh, to register for the retreat is $65. Amen. All right, here we go. So we're going to do some scriptures and then we're going to go into our lesson. Amen. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Thank God. Uh, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Second Timothy 2 and 1. Amen. Okay. All right. Melissa said if we can also pray for her, her um, son, and we will. Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. 
for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen. Thank you and pray for, I pray for my son. I'll look at him at it. I'm at work till seven on. Okay. Amen. So, Father, uh, we also pray for Melissa's son. Uh, she's asking for special prayer for him. And uh, we just remember him and we lift him up and add our faith with Melissa this morning on behalf of her son. And we ask God that you would touch him right now. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. Move by your spirit. Have your way, holy God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. As only you can. So we thank you, Lord God, right now. We, we bless you, Lord. We, we glorify you. We magnify your holy name. Jesus, be glorified in the name of Jesus. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We stand in faith with Melissa this morning. Lord, you know what is uh, on her heart. You know, Lord God, her concerns, Father. And we ask God that you, Lord, will hear her petitions. And, and, and God, that you will have your way in her life and in the life of her family as her daughter is marrying. Lord, we ask for your, your grace over her in that marriage, for her son, Lord, whatever the situation is, God, that you would intervene and send angels this morning. We plead the blood of Jesus over her son, and we plead the blood of Jesus over the Dennis family. And we thank you, Lord God, for hearing our petitions. We thank you, Lord God, for, for hearing our prayers as we stand in agreement and we stand in the gap for the Melissa uh, Dennis family. Father, we thank you, Lord God, as well as the Anna Pullum Rogers family, Lord God, as we stand with them this morning, as uh, uh, the, the patriot of the family has transitioned, Lord God. Father, that you would again be with them, Lord God. But Lord, let the mantle of their father uh, just be, uh, uh, be trans, uh, transferred, Lord God, to uh, the brothers and to the sisters, oh God, um, to, the, to the siblings, to the children, Lord, and the grandchildren, the mantle of, of, of prayer and respect and honor, Father, and reverence for you. Have your way, Lord. And we thank you, Lord God, for the life again of Joseph Rogers. Lord, bless, 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 Oh God, this family, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Edward Levon Dennis Sr. Amen. That's his name. If you guys can um, just continue to pray for him throughout this broadcast. We're going to read our scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We praise your name, God. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you, oh God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Carolyn said she's going through surgery soon. Well, Lord, you are a very present help in the time of trouble. And so, God, we just lift up uh, Carolyn Battle. Lord God, we stand with her in prayer. And we trust, Lord God, that, that, that you're going to keep her and bless her, Father, in uh this situation, whatever the situation is for this prayer, God, and we ask that you would touch the doctors 
and, and we know that you're able to heal, Lord God, but sometimes you heal us through the surgeries. And so, God, I pray that you will touch the, 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 the minds of the doctors and touch the minds of the nurses and everyone that would be involved in this particular surgery that Caroline is having. And I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will bring her through, Lord God, without a hitch, Lord God, and that you will cause her to heal speedily, Father, in the name of Jesus. You haven't given her the spirit of fear, Lord, but power, love, and a sound mind. And so, God, we just come against any kind of fear, any kind of hesitation, Lord God, and we plead the blood over her. And we declare your healing virtue over her in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. Cover her with the blood of Jesus. Lord, cover her with the blood of Jesus. Cover, Lord God, uh, uh, Melissa's son, Lord God. Cover him. Cover him with the, in the name of Jesus, with the blood of, of Christ. And we just thank you for it right now, Lord. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We got you covered, um, Melissa and, and Catherine, Carolyn, I'm sorry, and um, in a pullum. Amen. Thank God. He cares, he knows, and he will not leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me tell you, if you want to get an audience with God, you get in worship, amen. The Bible, we read a scripture yesterday that um, that um, we create a habitation for God and he inhabits our praise. God is spirit and they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us love one another. Amen. For love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Let me tell you, the word is plain. The word is very clear. Hallelujah. The word is clear. It said, let us love one another, for God is love. Everyone that loveth is born of God. Amen. And knoweth God. See, it's, 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 it's one thing. Amen. Uh, it's said to, to know God. Is born of God, rather. But know God. Everybody doesn't know God. Amen. Everybody that goes to church. Amen. Doesn't necessarily know God. In his fullness. And God is love. And the Bible said, if you don't know how to love, then you don't know God. Amen. God commanded us in his word when the, when the, when the uh, Pharisees were saying, well, what's the greatest commandment? They were trying to trip God up. And, 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 and he said to love God, number one, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And then to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Hallelujah. If we learn to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, we're going to come back to that, man. That's a good scripture for us to open with, Simone. We got to learn to love. And, and, and so I want, to, I want to read that scripture in another translation as well uh, to bring out some more understanding. Amen. And, and so um, when all has been heard, thank you for that scripture, Simone. Uh, thank you for this one, Inna. When all has been heard, the end of the matter is fear God, worship him with all filled reverence, knowing that he is almighty and keep his family 
for this applies to every person. Keep his commandments. Oh, my. I'm thinking in my head, family, I'm going to start over with the scripture. When all has been heard, the end of the matter is fear God, worship him with all filled reverence, knowing that he is almighty God and keep his commandments. For this applies to every person, for God will bring every act to judgment, every hidden and secret thing, whether it is good or evil. Man, that is good. Amen. God sees all. And sometimes what we think is that God only sees or judges us based on what people see. But the word of God in Ecclesiastes 12, verses 13 and 14 says for every act, um, for every God will bring every act to judgment, every hidden and secret thing, whether it is good or evil. Amen. God is going to bring it to judgment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for your word this morning. Amen. Blessings to you, Alfreda. Good morning, Edward. LeVon Dennis Sr. I'm going to remember that. Edward. Amen. She's going into the surgery this morning. Lord, we cover her with the uh, blood of Jesus. I got a procedure that I think I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to miss a Monday that they're trying to do. Amen. We'll talk about that later. That will keep in him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee trust ye in the lord forever for the lord jehovah is everlasting strength amen thank you lord the lord jehovah is everlasting strength amen thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee trust in the lord forever for the lord jehovah is everlasting strength thank you for that gloria amen i'm gonna pray that for us and pray that for those that are we're praying for this morning amen uh, god we just thank you for perfect peace you have not given us the spirit of fear Oh, God, this morning we pray for uh, Edward LeVon Dennis Sr. God, we just declare your peace. We pray this morning for Carolyn Battle. She's uh, heading into surgery this morning. Uh, God, we pray for your peace. Father, for Inna Pullum and the Rogers family. And the, and the Pullum family, Lord, we, we just pray for your perfect peace. God, you said if, as they trust in you. So, God, I, I just pray, God, that their faith won't fail as we stand with them and stand with Melissa and stand with others. Lord God, I'm praying for you this morning. I'm releasing and I'm praying the peace of God over your life. In the name of Jesus, Father, have your way. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for that scripture, um, Gloria Green. Appreciate you. Hallelujah. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, and I will extol you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalms 118, verses 28 and 29, English Standard Version. Come on, you got to make it personal. Our relationship with God, God is a personal God. He's our personal Lord and Savior. And so when, whenever um, David in Psalms 23, uh, 
He said, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes, he made it personal. He didn't just say our shepherd, but he's my shepherd. Amen. And in this verse of scripture in Psalms 118, he said, you're my God. I love it when we can make it personal. Now, I know he might be your God, but today he's my God. My daughter used to say, that's my daddy. She said, that's my daddy. Amen. Her faith made a claim. And she said, that is my daddy. David is saying, you're my God. I will give thanks to you. You're not just my God, but your Abba, Father. You're my, you're my father. You're my heavenly father. And I will bless you. I will praise you. Hallelujah. You're more than just a servant. Hallelujah. You're my God. He said, now are we the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But when he shall appear. We shall be like him and see him as he is. And so we just thank you, Lord God, that you're our God, that you are our God. Come on, make it personal. Make it personal. You're my God. You're my Lord. You're my all in all. You remember that song, God is the source and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me, never, never fall short of his word. I like to fast and pray each and every day. Keep my life filled. I think I'm, I'm messing up the words, Simone. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far and I never turn back. God is my all and all. God is my all and all. Thank you, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalms 118 and 24. Come on. Let's rejoice. Thank you for that inner it's especially uh, special coming from you this morning, knowing um, that um, uh, you just had some loss, but you choose to worship. Amen. Thank God for his presence. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, you, you see your saints, Lord, and all they have need of. We lift up this morning uh, for rail as well. I thought I saw something uh, when you were when you had signed in. I don't remember. Amen. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures evermore, forevermore. Amen. Psalms 16 and 11. Amen. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is the fullness of joy. <coughs> Why not pray? Amen. Come on. In the presence of the Lord, there's the fullness of joy. Come on. Most people trying to get away from life by drinking and smoking and doing drugs amen all that is is a reason they're trying to escape their reality but you don't have to go by these artificial means we can just get in the spirit and in the in the presence of the lord amen he said i'll give you perfect peace if you just keep your mind stayed on me amen and so um um he said in your presence there is the fullness of joy and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Come on, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Come on, somebody testify. The joy of the Lord is my strength. 
the joy of the Lord. You got to testify. You got to testify. Hallelujah. That's what we got to do. Remember, applying that word, saying, God, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord God, for that word. I thank you for that word, that promise, Lord God. And you, you take it directly to God. And then you got to talk to the enemy sometimes and say, listen, get behind me. Because the word of the Lord says, listen, I, I, I know what my emotions is trying to do. But what my, my heart says, amen, I command everything in me. David said, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that's within me, bless his holy name. And so we got to talk to our bodies and talk to ourselves and say, get up from there, that place. Stop with the pity party. Come on and bless the Lord. Allow the joy of the Lord to lift you this morning. Allow the strength of God to be yours. Hallelujah. It is a choice. I will bless the Lord. I will praise him. I'm going to bless him at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Can we exalt his name together? Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, this time is getting away from us. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. May the, the Lord give you strength. May the Lord give strength to his people. Thank you. May the Lord bless his people with peace. May the Lord give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. Amen. Come on. Receive it this morning. Receive it. Receive it, Reg. Receive it. Receive it. Melissa. Receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus. But you, O oh Lord, are, my, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord and he answered me from his holy hill. Psalms 3, verse 3 and 4, English Standard Version. Thank you, Lord, for the fact that you are our shield, you're our buckler, Lord God, and the glory and the lifter of our head. Hallelujah. Thank you that we have access to you. We can come boldly into your presence so that we can obtain grace and we can obtain help and we can obtain mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word this morning, Lord. He heals. Thank you, Inna. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up the, their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Amen. Right. Thank you for your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Bless you, Lisa. Great is the Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. 
he cast the wicked to the ground amen great is the lord and abundant in power his understanding is beyond measure the lord lifts up the humble and he casts the wicked to the ground amen great is the lord abundant in power his understanding is beyond measure thank you jesus aren't you glad that god's understanding is bigger than ours his 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 understanding his ways his thoughts his plans his agenda amen that's why the bible said trust in the lord and don't lean to your own understanding because when we turn it over to god he's able to do exceeding abundantly above what we could ask think or imagine because he's that kind of god hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus uh, hallelujah Thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, we cover uh, Belisha Sherrod this morning. Amen. Uh, says she's still having some issues after a fall. Oh, Lord God. Hey, Tracy. Good to see you, hon. Thank God for his, his, um, his grace, Father, for um, Felicia, Pastor Felicia Sherrod. Touch right now, Lord. Heal, Father, in the name of Jesus, by your spirit. Have mercy, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. Hallelujah. Our God is awesome. He can. What is that song? It's trying to come to me. Move mountain. Something, something, something. Hide me in the rain. Our God is awesome. Awesome. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen. Ephesians 2 uh, and 10. We were created for good works. Hallelujah. God is the joy and the strength of my life. He moves all pain, misery, and strife. He promised to keep me, never to leave me. He's never, ever come short of his word. I've got to fast and stay in the narrow way. Thank you. <laughs> Listen, when I don't know a song, I will I will add some lyrics. I've got to keep my life clean every day. It's my new song unto the Lord. Amen. I'll make it mine. I want to go with him when he comes back. I've come too far. I will never turn back. Hallelujah. How many have come too far? How many have come too far to turn back now? How many have come too far to turn back now? God bless you, Dr. Kim. She's sending condolences to um, Anna Pullum. God is my all. God is my joy. God is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see what we got here. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. 
for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Come to the Lord. Amen. All that are heavy laden. The Lord said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. Thank God for his presence. Amen. We are, um, what I want to do in these last few minutes. Amen. Bless you. God is good. I mean, I'm just going through. I know I'm, I'm missing some um, um, scriptures. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his ways, over the man who carries out evil devices. Nope, don't do that. Thank you, Anna. What shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He that he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Amen. Romans 8, 31 and 32, the English Standard Version. Thank you. Every time I read something, and especially one of my favorite scriptures, and I'll hear it in another translation, but my brain will start quoting it in the King James Version. Amen. Ta Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thank you, Bunny. Amen. Let me pause right here for a second. What's with the glory of green God? Awesome, he can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me in the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strengthens strength where I have been weak and forever he will reign. Thank you. I had to get that out of my system. Hallelujah. Thank you, uh, Gloria, as our resident hymnologist. And he and um, and Simone, Amen. My God is awesome; He can move mountains. Let's just go there, Lord. Hallelujah. Keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome; heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened, forever he will reign. My God is awesome, awesome, awesome. I need the music, awesome. My God is awesome. You need some parts. Awesome. 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 My God is awesome. Savior of the whole world. Giver of salvation. By his stripes I am healed. My God is awesome. Today I am forgiven. His grace is why I'm living. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. His name is awesome. Thank you for that, Simone. Thank you for that. Come on, y'all. Say awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I know that there's some scriptures uh, that we missed, but we are. I wanted to... Um, uh, share get a little water here I wanted to um, let me take this down hallelujah come on say awesome 
awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, Jesus. We're we're one of the things I wanted. Uh, I I really believe it, beloved. And and our first scripture that talked about um, scripture that that um, man, I said I wanted to read. Oh, it was um, First John four seven and eight. Amen. And it said, "Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that knoweth is born of God and knoweth God." He that loveth not knoweth not God. And we have been dealing with just for the last few days on, on Good Morning Manor. I believe that we've been created in the image of God. And most times we what we do, beloved, is that we are all good in the spirit. Wouldn't you say? I mean, we're in our spirit side, we serve God. We love God. We praise God. Amen. And so we thank God for the spirit. But God didn't just create us um, spirit. We are spirit and we are soul and we are body. Amen. God loves it when we um, worship him in spirit. But he also loves it when our bodies are in, in alignment with what's going on in our spirit and we worship him. Hallelujah. God is glorified when everything that relates to us spirit soul and body and i said it in that order for a purpose because it is spirit first soul and then body if we got everything properly aligned and if we're living in alignment with god then it's going to be spirit that part that speaks and talks to god our soul our intellect our emotions amen secondly and if we're led by god we won't fulfill the, the lust of the flesh. And so everything is aligned when we can put the spirit part of us first. But then also we need to do things in the same way that you have to build your spirit man up. How do you build your spirit man up? Praying in the spirit, reading the word of God, encouraging one another, amen, through the word of God. And so the Bible said, when you pray in the spirit or when you pray in tongues, you build yourself up in your most holy faith. And so um, we want to make sure that we are being whole in our in our Christian living. That means everything about us. Amen. The Bible, there was a, a scripture that said your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. For any of us that are saved, we are not our own. Our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. And so the, the, the Bible says that we need to glorify God in our bodies, which belong to God. Amen. And so we got it. We got it. We got to we gotta, uh, get it together. Amen. We got to bring our bodies. God is concerned not just about your spirit, man, and taking you to heaven after you die but god is concerned about those things that concern you and i right now he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly he said in isaiah 61 i came to bind up broken hearts god wants to heal your memories he wants to heal your memories god wants to heal and restore you in your mind things happen to us because of sin amen and the trauma from it will scar you and sometimes the way that we deal with it is not to deal with it, but we suppress it. Suppressing memories is not dealing with it. Amen. And, 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 and so the premise for it, the foundation of it is that we learn to um, love ourselves. The Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And then um, the scripture in um, 1 John 4 and uh, it said, let us love one another for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God. He that loveth not knoweth not God. Can I tell you, and, I, and, 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 and I'm still talking to Daryl. If, if you're not, if I'm not loving myself properly, then I don't, I'm not loving God. 
if I am destroying my temple through just different things and different activities that bring reproach to God, then I don't love him like I, I think I know him. I love him in my head, but not in my spirit or my body. We have to, must, it's imperative that we learn to love ourselves. And if you're having a problem loving yourself, then we got to get before God and let him do some surgery. Creating in us a clean heart, renewing a right spirit in us. We got to get, it's no, it's no um, embarrassment if you are in need of prayer. It's only embarrassing when you need prayer and you just don't do it. And I believe we all need prayer. We all got room to grow. Well, thank you for that, Anna. But do you not know, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost within you? Whom you have of God. Whom you have from God. You are not your own. For you are bought with the price. So glorify God in your body. Amen. Glorify God in your body. Glorify God in your body. But you start with you. We always want people to like us. We always, we're at game when it comes to doing ministry for other people. What have you done for yourself lately? How have you loved on yourself over the last few months? What have you done to bless you? What have you done to encourage you? What have you done to love you? I know a lot of people. No, I couldn't have been the only one. I know there's a lot of people that wished you were somebody else at one time because you felt like that other person had it better than you. God is calling you to love you. Have your way, Lord, today. Teach us to love ourselves. Teach us not just to love ourselves in word, but let it be in deed and demonstration. Let there be, Lord, a manifest demonstration. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Your assignment, I know you care about others. I know you love others. I'm not telling you not to do anything. But love you this morning. Look in the mirror and encourage yourself this morning. Stop talking bad about yourself because you got a little sickness in your body. Stop with the pity party. God is not moved by pity parties. God is only moved by our faith. People, we, we, we blame people, Gloria, but a lot of times we treat ourselves, people, we treat our, people treat us like they see us treating ourselves. If they see us not treating ourselves well and loving on ourselves, then they follow our lead many times. Have mercy, Lord. Teach me how to love me. Teach me, Lord, how to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you, family. We love you guys. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.
Amen. Love you. That's your homework assignment. Find a way. You don't got to spend money to love on you. Make yourself a nice breakfast and talk to yourself. That's healthy. Encourage yourself. I found when I'm encouraged, when I encourage myself, it's so easy to encourage others. When I'm happy with me, it's so easy to be happy with others. Thank you, Lord. Grace and peace. Love you. Uh, continue to lift up. Bless you, Constance. Continue to lift up uh, Inna, uh, Edward, LaVon, Dennis Sr., amen, and uh, Carolyn Battle, who's having surgery today, and anyone else that has any prayer requests, amen. If you see him pop up, just pray for him, please. Have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Grace and peace.